Hello everybody, hello, 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 hello. It's only fitting that this is the first person you see on this channel this year. It's me, I'm Dash and Cam. Best looking gamer in Jack House, also the best gamer in Jacks. You're watching the model tier me. And I promise you today, right now, right now, we're going to finish Life is Strange before the storm for the PS4. I hope you had a good new year. It is now 2018. Hope you finish off 2017 with a bang. I hope everything is lovely. I hope, you know, you woke up with a hangover, but with a good hangover. You know, a good way to start off a year. <laughs> Um, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit out of it. I was out last night as well. Um, you know, celebrating. Um, I was late. I had to work yesterday. It was, it was all bad, but it ended all good. Trust me. All right. So let's finish. Like I said, we're going to finish hell is empty. Episode three of life is strange before the storm. Let's do it. Both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hall's done with me. I can't go on anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waiting. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our area. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners I love of the world are mere problem. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. And as we left off, but we're back. We're back. Yeah, we are. Awkward. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for? Chloe stays. <laughs> of course. In every way that matters. Rose is my wife, and your mother, but the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Tell me what you guys think of how episode three is starting out. It's crazy. Love to hear your, or see your comments. It's the beginning of the end. Uh, me personally, I'll say I'm here. I'll make decisions already. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Oh my god. Oh god, the damn camera's still wonky. But if you find an press X to join Rachel. I like that. See, the controller even shakes when you hold hands. It's, it's so emerging, dude. Sure. When I was in high school. There was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. It's 
Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Hmm. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, it's just like her daughter. I realized I wasn't enough for her. <clears throat> While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but... I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. Mm. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she was, a destructive person, someone who could never be satisfied, anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. This is crazy. Yo. Think, tell me what you guys think of this. This is ridiculous. This is... Oh. I don't know what's going to happen. What you saw at the Overlook... Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her, and I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done, but after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world, the chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. Damn, we was wrong. <laughs> God pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. So 
So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. Why? It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. I think I know what's going to happen. It cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. That's a lot to take in, dude. Oh, what, what, what her mother thinks. That mother, what? what? That's, a, that's a lot. Her. That's a lot to carry. Chloe, you did awesome, man. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you were amazing. I even admit that Miss Keaton seemed a little disappointed when I arrived. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. I mean, <laughs> you don't know the situation. <laughs> God dang it, dude. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. Oh. <sighs> I wonder what James is thinking right now. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. Yeah, but sure. Shouldn't that be up to Rachel to decide? Rachel is curious and determined. She's always going to want to know more. I can believe that. She won't be concerned about her own safety. She never has been. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? Hmm. This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. 
but I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. Some burden on your shoulders. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Yeah, she's... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Oh. Okay, Rose. Sorry that tonight turned out so... Uh, differently. That's all right. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks, but why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Well, if you're just joining people, um... We just found out why Rachel, spoiler alert if you haven't played, but why Rachel's dad kept a, kept a secret from her about her mother um, and why they left and why he chose to never talk to her again. Mm. Doesn't matter how painful it is. You don't lie to someone you love. You might be right, but... Can any of us really know what we would do in his situation? Mm, that's true. He's been a devoted father for 15 years. I know he loves Rachel more than anything. I'm surprised you're defending him after what he did at the Overlook. It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. That's a good wife, dude. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. Go check on my girl. Oh, I'm pretty sure she's not up to par. I wonder how she's going to take this. Is she going to go crazy? I'm pretty sure she's going to go meet her. Now that's the beginning. That was the prologue of the episode. <laughs> She's like a mother, man. Tell me how you guys are doing this fine Friday morning. Still morning where I'm at. How you guys are doing? This is a situation, baby. That's a situation for your ass. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. I'm looking at her room. May you always be safe. Sure. But from who?
just a uh, light. Well, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case. Please come home. It doesn't matter. I just have to care for your mom. I can't right now. Please. <laughs> mom, you don't understand. Turn off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what would you do if someone would just see your room behind you? It just play with your stuff, just take your stuff apart, put stuff here. What'd you do? <laughs> just, it's like come on, whatever. Okay. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Alright, here's the moment of truth. I don't See, Rachel's iffy. It's iffy talking to her. It's like sometimes you can play with her, but sometimes you can't. And the last time I did that, she totally turned it down. And I was like, <laughs> like whatever. So I don't know. Um, I'm looking at it first. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking. Right I just now. teleported. I want her to tell me when she's ready. I guess the stars, let me show the stars. She's crying. Oh. That's what I tried to do. Hey. Check it out. That's a sad situation, man. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? You remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. Exactly. But mm. then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. Still beautiful. I mean, I don't say stars suck. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. Uh -uh. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Maybe you know, that's an asshole statement, man. I'm honored. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. That my real mother was gone. Oh. 
Man, this game always pulls on your heartstrings. As far as right now, compared to the first game, well, I have no, I can't, I can't really make that assumption, but as of right now, this game here has more feels to it than the first one. The first one, it hits you, it hits you hard, um, but, the, but this one here is more about feelings. The first one, you can rewind time, and you can redo what you've done, you know, but this one, you got to stick with what you did, <laughs> you know? I love these kind of moments here where you can decide rather to stay at the, the position you're at or what you're doing. Let the music play. You know? It's nice. I love the music of these games too. Tell me what y'all think of the music. Tell me what you think about the game, period. I Such a relaxing game. Such a beautiful, beautiful story that they're telling. I did not even expect her mom not I was expecting that lady to be her mom whatsoever I, I really wasn't and I was like wow that hit me that hit me dude that hit me hit me hard I'm just venting about the game how are you guys liking the game if you like the game get this video a like I haven't played or seen much of it but the story seems dude the story is unbelievable the story is unbelievable um i even suggest playing the first one before you play this one the first one gives you interest into who rachel is um because in the first one rachel's not in the first one i don't want to spoil anything for you but play the first one first the first one has more is more action-packed Action packy. I don't know. That's not even a word. But the first one is more action packed than this. You have powers. You can time travel and stuff. And you're another female. Um, you're you're Chloe. Yeah, you're Chloe's best friend from a long time ago. That's who you play. That's the protagonist of the first game. But let's go ahead and leave this spot. Oh, she got snot on her nose. The fact that she's here right now. She came here for me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? <sighs> it's not wrong, but I did tell her dad that I will look out for her. No, it's not wrong. Oh, no, no. <laughs> of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. Secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I got, I've got an idea. I've got this. I got an idea. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I've got all. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. You do? Yeah. In fact. Anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? I 
No, me personally, I probably would say something like, After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when that's a scary deep, feeling, man. I always so, know what to say. Spoiler alert: I may tear up when during the stream. Just thinking. In my dreams, he's there. It's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be. For Otto, you have now. no idea. <laughs> One of these episodes literally made me I've cry. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Right? Also, full right. auto. God damn it. James, god damn it. Full auto. Uh, I, f I forgot what. Jameson just made me freaking forget what the hell. What I was about to say, um, it was, I know it's about the feels. Yeah, dude, it's it's ridiculous. If you check out episode two of this, man, or episode one, even all of them have like key points that make you like, oh, but it legitimately made me cry. One episode, just, I was like, oh my god, I can't handle it. I had to get up. See, what the hell? That's her dad. She sleep? God damn it, Jameson. Oh. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? I felt that in the control. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? see anything this is referencing a the play that we did in episode two so if you're not getting this this is probably why yeah you see episode two she did a play with rachel um i'm just gonna say here it is where i don't know some kind of weird stage performance yeah so that's what it is it's referencing something that happened in episode two fine it's Spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about and full auto? That's that her scale? dead dad. Yes, <laughs> and what? That's her stepdad holding her mom in the front. Stop. None of this is real. You're not real. Rachel's family isn't. Real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Her well, dad, her dad died into a no car accident Shakespeare as said. well. So 
something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. <laughs> Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. No. Dad. Relax, Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. He ain't gonna act that in a car accident. Bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Up that tear. Ah, there it goes. Sorry, I'm good. I'm good. Almost. Almost. You almost got me. <laughs> Woo. Wait. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Oh, that's fuckhead. Stepdad. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've got to help Rachel. Okay. <laughs> I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Okay. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. This is where it gets hard. <laughs> oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? <sighs> oh. oh. Answer my question first. Oh God, no! I'm already, I'm already. I don't, I don't even know what to pick. I'm thinking maybe answer my question first. Uh, Frank doesn't play. Uh, I can answer my question first. Just to get the answer out of him first, then I can take you know, the consequences later. But if I just go off on a defense with I can explain that's like whatever. Thank you, Stream Elements. Let me answer my question first. I have a question to ask you first. I mean a favor. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Come on. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? <laughs> it mean a lot to me. <laughs> I don't think he really cares about being so bad right now. <clears throat> I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. That went well, I guess. That don't seem like that went well at all. That don't seem well at all. What am I getting myself into? <sighs> if 
Frank is AKA the drug dealer of the town, basically. Rachel, thanks for being there for me last night. I feel a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. I'm a good kisser? Okay, that. <laughs> also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm still at my house, just showering and grabbing tools for the truck. So meet me at the junkyard. I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Frank ain't giving no breaks. No, he's not. Plus, I'm supposed to get money from for him. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, I owe Frank some money. Uh, I was supposed to pick up money for Frank, and it didn't go through <laughs> at all. Um... You know what? <laughs> you know what? Chloe's my type of chick, man. <clears throat> Got two hours to kill. Why not smoke and sit? It's so weird to be home. <laughs> I love Chloe, man. As much as this place sucks, at least it's not full of secrets. Nobody's hiding anything. Well, except me and my pot. And everything with Rachel. But how could I possibly tell Mom what I'm up to? She definitely needs to I'm so tired of pretending things are fine to Mom. I, I always mess up again. And then she gets mad. Maybe, maybe I should try not to see her today. Hmm. I like that quote. You miss 100% of the shots you don't drink. Okay. As long as they ain't fucking. That's all I care about. This is. Because nothing screams compensate for something like a bright yellow sports car. Mm. How about we do this? Sports cars are really good for hot rod flames hitting on chicks. Hitting on chicks. Putting on chicks. <laughs> That's funny. I understand that completely. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Motherfucker. Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. I don't even know what's in there. <sighs> Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate. Ah, okay. Tight. So, that's how I'm guessing she changes her hair color. Best shower of my life. Hot water. Don't let me down. Oh, yes. Hot water. That's a high ass shower. Honestly, I have to use a bar of soap in so long. I use body wash. Irish Spring body wash. Old Spice body wash, to be exact. <clears throat> kind of body wash do you guys use? Mm, women. <clears throat> Am I doing the blue hair thing? I, I did? I 
I go in my mom's room to close. Huh? Dad's clothes? Bonus outfits. Bonus outfits. Dragons. Bonus outfits. Skull. Classic Chloe Price. Her back. Bonus outfit. Hot Dog Man Illuminati Deluxe or Punk Doe. Guys, you, you, you guys choose. Um, what should I pick to wear? Hot Dog Man. I've been using right, right, right. Uh, Illuminati uh, Punk Doe or Skull or Dragon or the Classic Chloe. Illuminati confirmed. Illuminati, that's one vote for Illuminati. Hmm. I like Illuminati. Punk though. Hmm. Huh. I, I'm going to say Illuminati. Just the reason I'm going to say Illuminati because he voted first. And I think I wore Punk though before, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah. Plus, punk is dead. <laughs> punk rock is dead. I'm just playing. Good money. Oh, duck. This is my little bra strap. My little kicks. Uh, little, little kicks. Yes, this is what I want. Okay, I think I pressed the wrong button. I hate when it does that. No, All right. that one. one last thing. What's that? I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that trap. Okay. So Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Okay. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? So the only thing I gotta do is get. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Matt. Little on feet in the ground. Look that glitch, boy. Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Yeah, Frank's probably gonna punch me now. Most likely. <clears throat> I mean, would you be would you be upset about this? I mean, it's your parents is happy. I mean, your mother's happy. I mean, it's nothing you can really do about something like that. Let me fix my seat. There we go. I'm going to stay here long for that. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, 
Your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. No. I mean... I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. What happened to you at present? I see you, Chloe. Coming home is a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. What the I, fuck you been for? I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I wish James, you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm See, her mom... I'm just hanging out with is, Rachel. Her mom's oh. cool. How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. <sighs> David, God it damn. won't take but a minute. It is pretty much how I went, Jameson. Mom. Couple of dry ass pancakes. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. Ah. Teenage Rebellion. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that. From today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David. The idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. <laughs> uh, but... David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. You gave up. Any right to privacy, Chloe, would... I asked David to help me yesterday, and he only did what he thought was best. You knew? You knew that David went through all of my... That was before I talked to him and explained why I disagreed with that method. But, Chloe, if I'd been able to trust you in the first place... I'm done with this. Chloe, stop. I know why you're acting this way. Go on. I know you're gonna regret it. Come here. Take a look at this. How was that? I want to see it. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tools. David needs to mind his damn business. Becker was killed. Yeah. Near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to okay. joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do 
what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? <laughs> Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. <laughs> if you're watching these kind of moments like this are very key moments to the story that means this whatever you choose can change the story whatever you do so you choose wisely before in the first game you had time travel you can rewind time and choose another scenario honestly Jameson <sighs> I was going to, uh, I was going to, I was going to take it that he, listen, he's fucking trying, dude. He's trying to be nice in his own crazy way. Uh, it would be, it would be mean. Um, when I got expelled, I rejected his offer for us to live for him to live together. That's why I was out. Um, and I just now came back home. Um, mm, what's up? okay. But yeah, I rejected it then. Now it seems like he's really genuine, genuinely trying to offer, you know, some, but I don't, I don't want to just say, Hey, no, I no, fuck you. <laughs> but most likely I'm going to accept it. I'm going to lean, lean towards accepting it. That's what they always do. It just, I'm not accepting trusting him I'm accepting his photo just so I can you know show him that hey we can try to move forward but I don't see I wish I knew what they will say after I pick what I pick um so I can reject his photo and be like no that's okay you keep it you need it it's something you can look at you know what I'm saying but I have my my father's photos um it's kind of a hard one. I still, that's one of the things about this. I really don't know how it's going to turn. <sighs> it's like I'm, I'm going to accept it. I think, I'm, I think I have to. He's, he's trying. He's trying so hard. In the first game, he is a dick. I can't stand him. In the first game, I can't stand him. But in the second game, or this game, he seems like he's actually trying. He's actually trying to be your friend. So I'm going to go ahead and accept it. David looks so young. And this Phil guy. They look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Plus, one of the reasons I did it for mom. I'm just so proud of you. Both. Mom is she mom, needs. I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. Her mom. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. Her mom stresses out so much. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God damn it. Rice. Cereals. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. So I see your neighbors. Not, not an apartment, you know, a house, small house. What 
here's your perfect living situation. Let me know in the comments what your perfect living situation is. I just like a little town. I don't. A little town has a ball. You can get to know everybody. It's simple. I just, I, I'm simple. I don't care for. I mean, I can live either or. I lived in New York. I know I've been in New York with Manhattan, the no. most busiest place on in America. Been there. Been to Miami. I know I've been mostly everywhere. So just like that. I just like the small town. Oh, she stripped. That's sexy, though. Female working on the car and know what she's doing. That's pretty really sexy. Damn <laughs> that sound means something's better. Something happened. But still needs a bit more love. Yeah, I like small towns, dude. I can salvage this beast. Oh I God! Just need to find the right tool for each problem. Oh boy! <laughs> Here I come. It comes my knowledge. All right, let's check the radiator, radiator cap. This I'm pretty good. Seems pretty I'm pretty up. good with the car with cars, so I should be okay. Ugh, put it on I your. I think I should move on to something else. What? Somebody's gunked up. This engine is fucking <laughs> simple as hell. Is the battery okay? This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Do you need some need some pliers? Yeah, these pliers. Uh, these pliers. Told you these pliers. There, fits like a. Deadly electric glove. Dude. Learn your cars, people. Learn your cars. See, that fixed that. Let me see. What's this? Was a hose? It looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. They need another hose. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, Oh, yeah, turn it on. It's not like I need a manual. But I'm really glad it's here. Hey. Hi, fans. Hey, Skip. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Screwdriver, screwdriver will work. Not no goddamn wrench. No hands look disgusting. Nah. <laughs> you gonna need small fixes. Oh, uh. Can you put it back here? A little bit of air. Oh, the fire's still going? That's what happened to trust. Oh, okay. wait. Chloe, this is David. Did my mom give you my number? Yes, you did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? Geez, what happened to trusting me? No, I was just asking. Glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. See, that's not bad. Victoria, uh-oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, what, what, what is this? Tennyson. You're so dead. Good God, dang it. Um, Claire Price? Oh, okay. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. You call me as Kunson, huh? Tennyson? Mm, you're okay, so. So I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil cunt. Oh, yes, yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're 
Her little sidekick now. Yep. Yeah, every lineup to play fucking perfect. How could that be? You've been planning this, haven't you? Oh no, you figured it out. <laughs> I had it. I had it with the school. Nobody gives a shit about me last night. It was all about Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass, that's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. Okay. I can definitely see some problems. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? What is that? What was it? A belt? What is it? Well, what is it? What is it? I don't know what it was. Nothing doing. That's a, I think it's a belt, if I'm not mistaken. I got a wrench. I really don't know what it is. Oh, what is it? Serpentine belt. Oh. <sighs> Much better. Oh, let's wipe your hands for. Hey, man. Check this out. Hands are disgusting. <laughs> what is that? This thing is going to fuck up. <laughs> Blow on it. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, put your mouth on it. Try it out. Maybe. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Ew. That's so fucking gross. <laughs> hmm. What do I see? Oh. I I would definitely would not go to a damn junkyard in a white shirt and white shoes. Yeah, you're fucking mine. <laughs> really? That's what you see? Alright. That's still fucking gross. Go back from once you came. Hmm. Plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Why, of course. Aye, that's her dad's car that got totaled. It's in a junkyard. The one he died in. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? I definitely want to be fucking whipping no fucking old ass rusty truck. But that's a good feeling. I know that's a good feeling. Oh my god. Fucking truck. 
<laughs> Your hands are fucking filthy. Ugh. Let's just see. Oh. <clears throat> Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Rachel Amber. Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... See, you live in a small town like that. Like that. Yes. I was People would that. notice that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. yeah. Badass, too. Hey. I'm not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Just me and my girlfriend. Hey, Price. Nice wheels. Frank. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Oh Frank no! Here's becoming a man, aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Oh, this is gonna turn out good. <laughs> well, what the fuck? He got the he got the money. Uh, he took the money. Oh god damn it! Not damn it. I don't. I don't. I don't know. No, he didn't get the money. Oh, that's right. He didn't get the money. Mm. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't have it. Or you're a dumbass. I'm not going to insult you. For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. Hmm? Huh? You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. Why is it? That chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. <laughs> Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Sure. Yeah. It's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see? We're just talking here. Okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. I don't know, why do you care so much? Not your business. Ugh. 
I'm even on the verge of why do you care so much, but I seem like I just said that. Um, I'm not, I don't want to tell her the truth. Should I tell her the truth? Should I tell him the truth? Should I? I don't know. Not your business seems kind of risky. A friend. I mean, why lie to him? I don't know. She's a friend. She's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> This chick doesn't have any family, or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. <laughs> Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> No way. What the fuck is your Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit. You know? mm, who cares? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. Oh, shit. We need to get crazy. Ah! Oh, <laughs> shit. Finish it. Finish the fucking job. Finish. Oh, fucking bitch. Finish it. <laughs> What the fuck? Go! Go! Now! Oh shit! You can't. Oh, she's bleeding out. Oh god damn it! No, 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 no. No, I think he hit a. Uh, that's why I think he hit an artery. That's. Why <laughs> Are we taking the hospital? Okay. Jesus. I know that shit hurt it. Oh, shit. That dude's a hothead, man. Good lord. Yeah, dude. God damn it. This is a hell of a life. <laughs> this is a hell of a life. Good lord. Rachel is going to be alright. The knife damaged her brachial. Alright, the Google Wiggle Bottom cut. What's up, Archduke of Wiggle Bottom 69? And now she's resting. 
Chloe what happened. Uh, I'm trying to figure it out. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Everything happened so fast. That guy you have a file on, Damon Merrick. Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Mm hmm. Go on. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. It's like, should you lie? Or should you tell him the so, truth? I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He wanted to... I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, really. Y'all remember? I don't remember. I think he wanted to talk. I think he wanted to ask about Sarah. Yeah, that's what he wanted to do. And plus he tried to scare us away as well. Mm. He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing. Of course. Is that how it became violent? I'm going to tell Rachel did. Out, Rachel was the DA's daughter. He, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm your father? It's so nice. I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. <laughs> what are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Uh... Thank you, Chloe. You've saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know what she does. Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, 
Our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Come on. Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh man. Jackpot. Oh yeah. Yeah, I knew she was gonna. <laughs> I knew she was gonna hear it. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna break this damn thing. <laughs> I'm very hungry. I want like twenty more of those. <laughs> Playground thing. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up and then I'll feel better. I am Frank. Big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. Ugh, God damn it. That's just, that was a bad situation, dude. That just escalated so quickly. I don't know, Lee. Shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. You think? If you're this useless now, what are you gonna do at 3 a.m. when the baby needs- There's a sign for the prenatal class. Right. I guess that's your contribution for today. <sighs> those people suck. Those are the people that we met at the park? <sighs> Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are things? Well, nice meeting you. How are things? How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh. Uh. I had a bit of trouble with work. And it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work That's out. That's what came up with Drew Hold on. with the money. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a all question right. maybe you can answer. Hold on. Sure. Don't ask about what happened. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Don't know, sorry, you should ask Drew. Should I ask Drew? Don't know, sorry. Um. 
just asked Drew. You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. They actually have helped me out. Money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I hope the Nords are going to be alright. Huh. Hey! You made it. Some more oh. D&D? Hey, Chloe. <laughs> hey, Drew. Uh, I'm, I'm sympathetic. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. <clears throat> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Barbarian colors. <laughs> you should try it. Thanks. Um, barbarian colors. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know, a war paint. Awesome. Nerds. <laughs> hey, you know about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? Just gonna use cane. It, it wasn't because of me, was it? Yeah. We have our own problems. No. Somehow we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. Let's kill him. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Oh, I'm headed out.
I have no reason why. Is that Samantha Myers? Who is it? I feel bad. Holy shit. Is that Nathan Prescott? It wasn't your fault. Oh, the ch oh. I'm a class. It's the girl. Oh, God. Nathan and Samantha together? Oh, no. What have I done? I should have seen that biker, though. <laughs> I just think it's sweet you wanted to take my photograph. Of course. I think it came out really well, too. Me too, you see it. I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. <sighs> Her mother. Hey. I wish I could have did a goddamn leg race to get that goddamn pudding. I don't know. My pudding looked so good too. I ain't get no pudding when I was in the hospital. I can't even express. Dude, that was a weird phase in my life. So much. <laughs> the hospital was crazy. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've hmm. grown so close, haven't you? Yeah, it's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, apple and small. you just know. Well, apple and small there. apple juice. This is Amber. Dude, when I was in the hospital, I didn't eat shit. <laughs> I did drink a lot of juice, though. A lot of juice. I drank a lot of juice. It was good, though. Rachel's mom loves her so much. Here comes the moment of truth. Don't forget to follow. Subscribe if you want to. I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. Look at them graphics. Look at that finger. Look at that finger. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> My guardian angel. Nah, she's she's cool. I thought she was gonna be mad. I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. Steph's so cute, but not as cute as you. Oh, shit. Stop. I mean it. I guess I could have. Uh, okay. I see, I see what that Rachel. part was. If you wasn't trying to have a relationship with her, then you could fix that up. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I was so sorry. And and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean, I'm 
I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely sick. Well, my dad's dead from a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand how you feel. Would you do something for me? What's that? Anything. Rub your toes. Sarah. Mom. It's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... I think I still want to meet her. <laughs> I figured you would. She looks, they I look don't exactly alike. She's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her? Please? You really want this. Don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course. Whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is zero seven two two. Zero seven two two. To your Write it down. Your dad's office? Zero seven two two. Write it yeah. down. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. Well, that's her birthday? And then I'll I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. I get a kiss. Chloe. I can I get a kiss? Let you sleep. Everything. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, they dropped like flies at the high school. <laughs> they dropped it like flies. Oh. Dropping like flies. Narcolepsy. Yeah. That's you. It's, uh, it's nice. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of happened. Uh, no. no. Not a problem at all. So... What's going on with you? Hi, uh, Dog I Gamer YT. How you start. doing? At the moment, I'm happy Friday. Here for Rachel. You're now watching Life is Strange episode three, that, which just came out. What like, happened yesterday? I said she's keeping it private. I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay though. Well, that's good. God, I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably Episode wants three, but I will not spoil. Oh. Thank you, thank you, God, uh, dog game. Cool. Is episode three the last episode of the of the whole game? Are Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are. You know, I won't judge. 
Nothing we can't handle. I'm saying that we can't handle. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, okay. don't be. Thank you. Um, I figured that's what it was. This was the last episode I mean, of the whole series. You're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Right? So what? So... Obviously, something is going on. That's really okay. I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Okay. He can be a scapegoat. God damn it. I'm gonna tell everybody the damn information. Alright, let's see. What we got. <clears throat> Trying to remember what was going on. Hello? I was supposed to get something from her, from his office. I remember that. I forgot what the... Uh, I'll look at my hand and find out. Okay. I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. Okay, yeah, that's what Rachel wanted. Rachel. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Let's get what? What is that? Sweet. The secret key. Oh. Now find the secret lock. Most heroes do. Hey, Chloe, thanks again for visiting. Drew's been so much happier since you came by. He says good luck out there. Thanks. Good luck to him, too, Chloe. Yeah? You're stronger than anything. Hope so. <laughs> All right. Thanks. All right, let's open these drawers. Right side first. Welcome to Shadyville. What is that, a box? What is that? James's stamp collection. <laughs> The money? Oh, hold on. Let me close. Let me see if I can close the door. <laughs> can I close the door? The door is wide open. I'm, I'm, I'm such an amateur. What's this? Maybe it was that, just that what simple. Do we have here? Evidence. I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. I, I did. Can I close it? Oh. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay. 
All right, let's go back to the box. Let's see here. Uh, phone. Let's look at this. I have to know who James is talking to on this secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. Okay. Oh God. Let's see. All right. I'm to me from me to unknown. All right. I'm told you could, you can help me with my problem. Uh oh, cross the line, eh? Let's talk. We'll call tonight. I found who you were looking for. Call you in 15. Well, this isn't a charity. I'm going to need you to do what we talked about. I can't. Sure you can, because I talked to your girl, and she has a big mouth. Oh, it's that one dude. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands-on. Don't hurt her. Relax. I've got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know, she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her to behave better. Or is that one guy? Nothing. I guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. I know exactly who that is. James is working with... Yeah. Damon Merrick? Happy New Year, man. What'd you do for New Year's? What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? <clears throat> um, you'll pay. Where is Sarah? If somebody, do you do what I want? Well, probably becomes a big problem. Do you carry the evidence or not? Shit. Hm. What do I say? You first? I can't do it to this, so I'll give you a pass. Don't fuck with me. See proof of the evidence. Okay. You did stuff. That doesn't sound sketchy. Hope James actually has this evidence. It's this stuff right here. Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. It's this right here. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Pretty sure it's a knife. Maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Okay. Let's do that. How you got, how you got, okay. So info on the case. Let's see here. Pretty sure it's a knife, if I'm not mistaken. James has a file on Frank. <clears throat> I love to read this. Stuff is sketchy though, Professor Primbottom. That is very sketchy. <laughs> I did stuff. Oh, let's see here. Is it this? Arcadia Bay's least wanted. I'm gonna pick so it never happened. <laughs> Your secret's safe with me, man. Your secret's safe with me. What's in here? More Sherry. Sherry. That's graffiti. Yet. <laughs> what are we doing? Do it. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't say emoji. Yeah, all right, man. So when, when are you streaming again? James sure keeps lots of files on people. Where's that one file that's Sheldon? It's not, this is Frank's. I seen another one. Let her go. Yeah. You really are. 
Just hop out, leave her body on your doorstep. Bring me the cash, then we talk. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay. I still have time. <sighs> Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yeah. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey. Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? I can't really talk about it. Rachel, Rachel needs my help. I'm sure she does. I'm more concerned about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't Why understand. Why are you being so nosy? Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Uh, it is serious, none of your business. <sighs> kind of like none of your business, dude. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think. I'm um more like none of your business. Or it is serious. Mm. I think I would think Chloe would get mad. So I'm probably none of your business. None of your business, indeed. Hmm. 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 None of your business. No, I don't want to tell him. Um, anything about was the reason why I'm here. Yeah, that's a, that's bad. No, um, I usually as my playthrough right now is pretty much don't let people know what's going on and stuff for the people that needs to know. So I'm probably gonna do none of your business, or it is serious. If I say it is serious, he's gonna press me more. If I say none of your business, it can be straight to the point. Hmm. Triangle. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But, but you're the one putting yourself in danger again. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just... Take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... You don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out. What happens? You end up in a fight. Mm, I'm to remember. Was that... Her? That wasn't her fault, was it? No, she saved me. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I can't. Sure I wish I could. Seem to you. <laughs> stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad. The next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. Mm, I'm guessing this is my choice. Uh, she defended me. Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You, 
You need to shut the fuck up before I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise. No one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy! It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. What? <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Um. He's getting kind of pushy. So I would think to calm him probably would be the best thing to do. <laughs> he is acting real angry right now. He's big mad right now. Um. You say circle to walk past him? I got a feeling he won't let me walk past him. You can see the way he's he's walking around like a lion. He's not really ready for me to walk past him. <laughs> um, I could calm him. Mm. I guess I could, I'll calm him down. Just do it. Just walk past him. Did you say walk past him? Um, walk past. I gotta feel like he won't let me, but I'll try it. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Call for help. Uh. Calm down, dude. Elliot, please. I know you're upset. But I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Okay. Elliot's gone full on crazy. I I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. Okay. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Okay. Oh, you got it. Right now, we are here at 2420 Blackfriars Road. Is oh, that fuck. what you mean? You're acting strange. What's going on? What? Nothing. I... What are you... Ugh, you bitch! 
Can't you see? I just want to help you. You're going to assault me now? Mother That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. Oh, this ain't good. DLCs. Not DLC, um... Part of the bonus pack I brought for the game. He just... He just get more shirts. <laughs> Alright, dude. This ain't good. This ain't good at all. We're not in a good situation. <laughs> this, is, this is horrible. doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I just don't know anymore. That's what makes it so horrible. James Amber, the perfect dad, and... James Amber, the scheming asshole, would act exactly the same around Rachel. Oh, sweetheart. You're a terrible liar, so I couldn't have been much better, right? Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Mm -hmm. Never mind, Dad. Never mind. I don't... I don't need to know. No. I like it better this way. What way? That I'll always be the perfect dad? How many people get to say that? <laughs> no way. My ride, my tunes. <laughs> it's so nice. Am I seriously going in to face Damon and Eric? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You know. 
Want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. It's about to go down, dude. No. Wait to see what happens. <laughs> My little front license plate thing is falling off. Just. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. Shit. Is that blood? Hmm. Frank? Come on, let me in. Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. So Frank's in there? Don't mess with Damon there. Don't tell me what to do. Dude, this ain't good, man. Glad to see the bomb made it. We shouldn't be doing this. The knife might not be a bad idea. I never take thought that. I'd have to say that. I think I should take that. Just in case. It is about to get real, real quick. <laughs> it's about to get real. No more beer. No more time. I've got to keep moving. Oh, no. Oh, God damn it. Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? Frank's couch is toast. What the hell happened? Why aren't we coming together as a, as, as a community <laughs> to get rid of this guy? This makes no sense. Sarah's got to be in here. Somewhere. Obviously, she's in here. James would go this far to do this. Is it really? Is it really After this? All, no one believes it, Junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. 
respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you... Run! No one has to know. Just... Just let her go, and I won't say... God damn it. Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! This was not a good idea. <laughs> no! Go to your fucking happy place. Right. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with Damon? What did you do? Oh, I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet, Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Holy fuck, you kicked me dead in my shit. Ooh. Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with... <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. That's BS. You know what happened here? And you'll take that away from her. Forever. <sighs> and just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. 
I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. And what do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every Man, fear. everything happened. <laughs> God. Everything freaking happened. No more sadness. No more grief. Dude, it... Why would <laughs> it to went to shit. So did you laugh. Ever. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here. Well, I just, first off, this is the end of the game. Um, you, you said you played it already. Um, I know. She's fearless. She's I went to the guy. Brilliant. I gave him the and money. Talented. He slapped me. <laughs> and she feels so much. This is part of me She's getting knocked so out. Strong. So this isn't real. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Well, he slapped me into unconsciousness. I can't. <clears throat> Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and, and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. He doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Don't you want to see her? I can't lie to her. I can't lie to Rachel. I, I won't do it. She trusts me. And I don't want to ruin that. If you love her, you'll lie to her. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'm still friends with the handsome Milan mummy. I don't know. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Who's the handsome Milan mommy? Sorry, somebody I need to know. Give her the father she deserves. 
the one who raised her, protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You? You have the power. What you have to decide <laughs> sure. is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Can't do it. Can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Wait. I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. So was that in my head or did that happen? Game Beast? I have that. Um. <laughs> It's fun. Oh, man. Hello? What's going on? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later. Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? No, oh, no. Don't don't make hey, me sweetie. choose between not telling her and telling her. How did I get there? I don't understand what just happened. I don't... <laughs> Am I still dreaming? Or what's going on? I don't understand. The game's a blast, though. You should, you should really get it. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. I don't think she'll slap me. All this is my girlfriend. So, how did everything go? <sighs> Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Don't, game, don't do it. Don't. Oh, God damn it, I knew it. Yeah. I, I, well, basically, you could choose the kind of relationship you wanted to have in the game. I chose um, lesbian because, no, no. I never seen Chloe with a boy in the first game. In the second game, I was like, oh, Rachel's cute. Why not? All right, so um, this right here is a key moment. Um, This could change the game forever. So I could either tell Rachel everything. I protect her from the truth. <sighs> this is hard, man. This is a hard one. I don't know. See, I want to tell her everything, but her mom was like, don't tell her because she has a nice family. And I, and I don't know. I'm I'm mostly leaning towards tell Rachel everything. I 
Oh, God damn it. That's going to just mess up her whole life. This next statement can mess up her whole life. <sighs> her mom told me her mom told me to press circle. Circle would be the best thing to I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's hard to choose because see, if you play the first game, you understand. First of all, um, but if you protect her, then you're lying to her, and she trusts you. I mean, I'm 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 that type of person. Like, if you trust me, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you 110 percent, you know, honesty. That's how I am. I need to tell her everything. Like I would tell my girl, I would tell my girlfriend everything. You know, I just, just how I am. Like, hey, this happened. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Got this out of my. God. Damn it. Yeah. Forgive me. <sighs> this is... I feel bad. I feel so bad. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel horrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, square square is the decision that I wanted, man. I would tell I would have to tell her everything. <laughs> Fuck. I feel horrible. <laughs> I feel absolutely oh, horrible. Get it, doggy. I knew that was gonna happen with the, the picture.
What's that, DM? What's up? A little bit. <laughs> and that's how she looks in the first game. So I don't know. I don't understand how her family is now. That's that's the weird thing. It's like. Yeah, it is very nice. I, I'm, I just. I don't know, this is a nice ending or not. Because <laughs> I'm just thinking about the other toes and everything. Like, I, I know our family is so broken right now. It's still... No, there's still a lot of things that's left unsaid. I would want to see Rachel naked. Do Rachel like 15? <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> no snow. She's about 7. She's about 16. 16, 17. So, yeah, you probably want to take that bad. Probably. I don't know. Maybe you live on the edge. <laughs> so, that's the end, huh? There's still also a, um, a DLC pack. That was a hard decision, though. That last decision was pretty hard. That was a hard decision. Hey, do you want to go in? Want to go in a party? What you mean by that? What does thou mean by that? Um, the game. This ending was not as more imp was not as impactful as the first game ending. First game ending was crazy. This game ending was okay, but it was like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh. Uh, God damn it. Oh, okay. Chat party? Um. Yeah, if I was playing something, I would. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind doing that. First, I am starving. I do want to eat something. Um, that's weird, dude. Okay, so... Let's see here. Out of... Let's see. France stats. I'm gonna switch to world stats. So, f to through the world stats, no, there's this one. Yeah, that's the world. That's through the world stats. Um, this is how it went down. Forty nine percent of the people 
told told Rachel the truth. Fifty one percent of the people um, didn't tell Rachel the truth. Um, I was one of the people that told Rachel the truth. Let's see what's the next. What's the next button? Is square? Is it square? Okay. Um. Yeah, I killed the the plant with soda. Eighty one percent of people killed the plant with soda. Yeah. You accepted David's photograph. Ninety percent of people. Okay. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. Huh? You gave Drew money to Demon. You returned Drew's money to him. You donated Drew's money. You kept Drew's money. All right. So I did with sixty two percent of the people did. Um, you spared Drew. You swallowed you over the pudding. Okay. Nobody played. Nobody played tabletop. Okay. You didn't donate to the fire um firefighters fund. I didn't see no firefighters fund. What? You convinced Damon that Sheldon was a snitch. Uh, I thought it was a snitch. Okay. Rachel didn't meet her mother. Rachel met her mother. So Rachel could have met her mother. Are you serious? Oh. No. Oh. I'm mad about that. So I, now I, I can see Rachel met her mother. Like, that's... That's... Funny. You didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> oh, those are the pictures from the first game. Oh. That was episode three. I am not happy about that ending whatsoever. That was just, uh, it doesn't tell you anything. It, does, it doesn't tell you anything. Oh, that DLC, that's what, okay, so that's the ending. Okay, so that little extra is, I guess, that part that they just showed. Okay, that's cool. So that should tell you a little bit more about what happened. And I'm going to do that next time. All right, so that's episode three. I'm glad that I, I, I finished it for one, um, but I just don't like the ending. I don't like the ending. Uh, I do want to see how, I'll probably watch it on YouTube, see how it is when she meets her mother. I would love to see that. But other than that, I am going to bid you adieu. Um, if you do want to follow my personal channel, this is not my personal channel. But if you want to follow my personal channel, look at the panels below. And there's a link that says, for more Dash and Cam, click here. Or you can just click the, the link. And it's easy to my personal channel. Alright, so you want to join the party or not? Um, probably. Um, we'll see. First, I got to eat something. got to eat something. Um, if you said I already added you on PSN, I'll check you out um, and let you know. All right, all right. So, other than that, I'm Dash. You can wrestle, can gamer Dex, Also, the best gamer Dex, and I will see you again soon. Salute, hello, goodbye, good night.